Okay, I'm going to wax the uh, waxing the uh, rim and the gallery on the gallery on the lid and also on the body. Um, this is the uh, alum hydrate. I add a uh, alum hydrate to my wax resist, so that uh, I'm planning to fire uh, the body and the lid together. So um, for the lidded part uh, to be able to separate easily, I usually do the uh, aluminum wax. Put the uh, wax re uh, aluminum hydrate into the wax resist. Just waxing the part that is contact with each other. So wait till the uh, wax completely dry and then I'm going to glaze inside. Um, before I glaze, usually if I pour in the glaze inside, sometimes it got uh, clogged into the uh, the filter. There's a uh, the hole that I punch it. So uh, to prevent the glaze from uh, getting too thick on there, usually I use the uh, uh, a brush and then brush some water there so that it will absorb a little bit less glaze on the spot. And also I tend to uh, thin down the glaze, okay. For the inside, you don't need to have a very thick glaze, so I water it down so that the glaze is a little bit thinner. So I will wait till it's the US completely dry and do that. Uh, and in the meantime, I, I could go ahead and uh, wax, uh, glaze the uh, inside of the lid here. So I use my hand to block the air hole. There's an air hole here. Block it and then uh, glaze inside. Just pour in enough glaze. That's all I need. You don't need to have uh, so much glaze that uh, you need to pour it out. Okay, that should be enough. And then uh, for the uh, chatter here, I will use the uh, underglazes again to show my chatter mark. And then I'm going to wax it here, wax here, um, put the blue glaze here and here. And my body of the uh, teapot is going to be the blue color. The blue color shows the texture nicely, so I will use the uh, blue glaze over. So you might want to ask what kind of uh, color I'm putting it on. Uh, actually, this is what I have. I mix them up two different color, the red one and the orange one. I'm mixing about half and half among. And then I also add a little, tiny little bit of uh, a brown stain, put it inside to get the color a little bit darker. And then I took a little bit of uh, the glaze that I, you can use your uh, like transparent glaze, just a drip little bit. And then I use water to dilute it. So it's kind of a, like a water color. Okay. It's kind of watery. That way uh, when the underglaze is, is watery, it's easier to go into the deeper spot. Okay. So that's why you want to use uh, a water down uh, underglazes instead of uh, just pouring it out. And use that that is very thick um, it's very hard to coat it evenly 
and also it's hard to get it into your texture. So water it down, okay, water it down. And now I'm going to uh, coat with the uh, regular wax to protect it. Because I'm going to dip it in the uh, blue glaze, so I want to uh, prevent the glaze from uh, getting into my texture, so I wax it. And again, this is the uh, wax, the green wax from Aftosa. Okay. You can just Google it, okay? You should be able to find it okay, easily. So that's the name. And also, uh, when I'm not using the uh, brush, I put it in the water, put it in my mug and uh, there's water inside to keep it soft. I don't want it to let it dry. Okay, now I wait till the wax completely dry and then I want to dip it in the uh, blue glaze. So there's a little bit drip, uh, and just wipe it off. Okay, uh, before I dip it uh, in this bucket, I will uh, grease the bottom. Just drip enough.
there's a little um, tip on a little bit glaze a bit thicker here I will wait till it gets dry a little bit just use a knife to uh, remove a little bit clay, uh, glaze here Okay, uh, the reason I'm doing that is because this glaze show the texture nicely but again uh, also it's not very forgiving so if you have a spot that is the glaze is a little bit thick it will show so that's why I try to uh, even it out uh, since the uh, glaze dry it's gonna be like a powder so you just uh, get a, a good knife and just slightly remove a little bit of the glaze and then wrap your finger around it to smooth it out. That's it. So that's the uh, piece that ready to go to the kiln. And uh, I will show you the result. Table. Teapot demonstration. It's my fairly recent one. Uh, I believe it's my video number 552 five, and 553. 552 five, throwing and 553 five, five, and uh, trimming and assemble. And uh, in this video, I show you how I glaze it. And now is the result. Okay.